Hi and welcome to the brand new episode of Home Assistant running on Synology in Docker. Today we are going to install Plex two times. We'll start in a couple of seconds. Plan for today is to install Plex two times. First, we are going to use a standard package in a package center. Second, we are going to install it in a Docker container, if you wish to do so. I wouldn't recommend, but still it's possible. And third thing we will do today is, of course, configure it, our integration with the Home Assistant. So let's start the easy way. First, we are going to install Plex by using Package Center in Synology. So let's open Package Center. Let's search for Plex. And let's press Install. And our Plex is installed. Let's check it here. It should take a couple of seconds. And of course, now we have to log in. At this point, we will not be going forward because I want to show you how you can install it inside the Docker too. If you are planning to use Plex, I myself don't use Plex. I use Video Station from the Synology which lacks, of course, integration with the Home Assistant. But if you still uh, want to use Plex, I would recommend that you stick with this installation. But for the others, brave of heart, let's go and let's install it inside the Docker. Let's deinstall it here. Let's try and install it from the Docker application here. So first thing what we have to do, we have to create a couple of folders. Uh, don't mind SIO and Almond folder, this is something I'm playing currently with. Let's create new folder, let's call it Plex. And inside Plex let's create two subfolders. So one will be called database. And the other folder will be called Next thing what we have to do is we have to go to Docker. We have to go to uh, Registry and let's search for the Plex Inc. And here we have official Plex Media Server repo repository. Let's download it. And Plex is now downloaded and image is prepared for installation. Okay. Let's go to image. Let's find Plex and let's select launch. Advanced settings, enable auto restart, volume. And now let's add a couple of folders. First folder we want to add is Plex database. And it will be connected with the config folder inside Plex container. Next folder will be Plex temp. And it will be connected with the uh, transcode. Transcode folder inside Docker container. Let's now create folder for the uh, media files. Shared folder, create shell folder, and let's call this folder media and media. Next, 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 apply. And let's see read write access. Okay. Let's add folder here. We have media folder selected and this will be our data folder. Let's go to network settings. We will be using Docker host. Ports will live like this. Links we don't care now. And environment. In environment we have to add a couple, uh, couple of variables. First of all we will define time zone. 
Europe Zagreb once again for me. Next, we will define Plex group and user ID. So Plex get zero and Plex yield also zero. Let us just verify once again if this is correct or not. In Putty, let's go to the media folder and let's list here and see who is the owner and owner is root. So in order to check user and group ID for the root, we have to type ID root. And it says that uh, user ID is zero and group ID is zero. Okay. And I think this is it. Let's press apply. Let's just change name here to Plex. Next, apply. And hopefully we will see Plex up and running in a couple of seconds. Let's check log. It is slowly starting. Okay, so let's check Plex web page. Let's give it a couple of more seconds. And let's see if we get anything. Plex has started. Next thing what you have to do, you have to sign in to your Plex account. For this, I presume that you already do have your Plex account. Let me try to open mine. Continue with the email. Sign in. Got it. Close. And let's give this Plex server name. It will be bearded. Plex. Oh, I like it. Next. Let's add library. Films. Add folder. And it will be my data folder. Let's add it. Add. Next. Don't want it. And this is it. If you have problem with movies or your media not showing up in the Plex, what you have to do is you have to go to Putty once again and you have to change the permission rights on the folder. To do so, type sudo shmod recursive so that all subfolders are also included. 755. This gives uh, additional read write privileges for other users and other groups. And here you have to type in a folder of where your media files are. So it's media for me. And now this should give media files enough additional privileges uh, so that Plex can see it and scan it. Now let's go back to Plex. And as you can see here, I have one movie. Of course, it depends on what other media you have. As we only did create one folder, what you can do, for example, is inside the media fo uh, folder. As I said, this is only one file I have added. If, for example, you want to have your media divided into the uh, movies, uh, TV series, and things like that, what you have to do is you have to create a subfolder inside the media uh, folder. You have to go to the settings and down below go to manage libraries. And here you can add, for example, films will be in the folder movies and TV programs will be in the folder TV. So you have, this would give you additional options on how to sort your files. If we go to the Synology, we can check how it looks there. So if you open file station,
we now have two folders and what we can do is we can move this folder inside OIS. Here it is. This will allow you greater flexibility and possibility to sort your media content. Now that we have this done, the last thing we need to do here, of course, is to configure our integration with the Home Assistant. Integrating with the Home Assistant is really easy, so we go to Configuration, we go to Integrations, go to Plus Sign, find here Plex, And here we will give authorization for the Home Assistant to access our Plex server. It takes a couple of seconds. And that's it. Finish. If you think that you will get some supersonic information out of this integration, unfortunately not. Let me show you. So what we can do here, I will try to stream something. It's streaming movie in the background. And let's go back to Home Assistant, Overview, Media. And here we can go to Configure UI, plus sign, and add media control for Plex. This is one thing. And we can also add entities. Plex sensor. What it does here, let me just close this everything, okay? So what it really gives you, it gives you two options. One is to control, meaning that you can uh, pause and play media. Uh, you can turn off playing of that media, in playing it's currently inside my Chrome uh, browser. You can skip media. This is the media control option you have, and you have here uh, only sensor showing if something is watched or not. And that's it. You will not be presented with the library options, you will not be presented with some uh, additional options on how to create your playlist. You will only be able to see something similar to what, for example, Chromecast is giving you. And that's it. I hope you like this episode. As you've seen, there are two options and two ways if I would use Plex, I would definitely go with the simplest inst installation option because it's much simpler, easier and future and bulletproof. But then again, if you want, you can also run Plex inside the Docker container and connect it with your Home Assistant. If you do expect some miracle inside Home Assistant, unfortunately, no. You still would have to use uh, either your smart TV or your computer uh, to browse libraries. But then again, if somebody is watching, you will be able to see it here playing. Thank you once again for watching Home Assistant running in Synology and Docker. I hope you liked this episode. If you still haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit the bell button so you get notified on the future updates. If you have some kind of a comment or a question, please leave it down below in the comment section. And I will be seeing you very soon. Thank you, bye-bye and have fun.